I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a walk behind concrete saw. Um, we're going to use it to cut this asphalt. And uh, I just want to talk about a couple things here um, before you tackle a job like this. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right tool for the job. I mean, you can get different kinds of concrete saws. You can get the, the smaller units where it's kind of for cutting patches out. I need to cut the entire width of this road and um, I think for safety purposes this guy is going to do the job better than uh, one of the smaller units. The smaller units ha usually have a larger blade and can go deeper into concrete or asphalt but um, I don't need to get more than about three inches deep on this so this guy is going to work the best and I think is going to be the most stable. Before you get going on a project like this, you want to make sure that you have a very distinct line of where you need to cut. You need to have an idea of how deep you're going to need to go. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be cutting a notch out of the this asphalt. Um, kind of roughly like you would cut a dado in lumber. I'm going to make multiple passes and then I'm going to use this breaker bar and hammer and try to knock out the the inside. You're going to need a water source because the water source provides water to the blade and it also wets the road surface and all the dust that's going to come out of this. You do not want to breathe that. You want to make sure you don't breathe any of that or concrete dust. That can really affect your lungs and, and possibly kill you over a long time, period of time. Anyone that asks you to do it dry, especially if they're a boss or whatever, you need to maybe tell them no or walk away from the job because that person does not care about you. When you're using dangerous equipment that makes a lot of noise, you want to protect your hearing and your eyes. Um, it's good to get in the habit of wearing steel toe boots whenever you're doing any kind of work with tools. And I'm using rain gear because it's going to get pretty sloppy. The unit is an Edco and uh, it's gas powered. Gas goes here, it's just regular gas. You want to check the oil. Oil is right there. You got your on off switch. You have your choke down here, the gray. Gas is right here. A shut off here. Your throttle is right here. And got all the kinks out. You turn this on, and this guy just starts spitting. And that's gonna help that uh, keep the dust down and keep the blade from overheating. So uh, before you fire it up, make sure to get your earmuffs and your eye protection on. Pull your mask down so you don't steam up your glasses because you need to be able to see what you're doing. So those of you who do woodworking have probably done a multi-pass dado into wood. So that's basically what I'm doing with this asphalt is I'm making multiple passes. And then... You can either cross cross the tracks and it'll knock pieces out, or you can get a breaker bar or crowbar and pop it out with a hammer. You just basically want to make a notch so after a little bit of elbow grease with a breaker bar I've gotten that far I'm gonna think um, cut a couple more passes try to get a little deeper and uh, then be entirely worn out. 
Okay, so this is the dado notch I cut into the road here. Um, cut it across with that guy and then I had to hand chisel and use a breaker bar to get it more